Now, I know you might not know who this is. But this is the group called Three Times Dope. Now, like I said, I was going through the history of hip-hop. And this came up. This one is called From the Giddy Up. I love this song. Basically, I've been bumping it all week. In my travels and everything. A little bit of James Brown. One of my favorite lines in it is called, Did you like the farmer did the potato? Plant you now, dig you later. This is an awesome song. You guys gotta listen to it. Gotta check it out when you can. Alright. Let's drop it down just a little bit. Hello sports fans and welcome. Welcome to episode 186 of the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. I am your host, the Guru of Sports. And like I said, you can hear in the background the sounds of three times dope from the Giddy Up. Love that song. I'm going to drop it down now. All right, so we had, we were supposed to have, I was supposed to have my man Dan and uh, uh, Rob on here this morning or today, yesterday. This is actually being taped on a Sunday morning. I know, like I told you guys before, we were going to go back to Saturday Night Live because Saturday nights are basically... You know, we're going to do this so we can get this out, so we can, you know, check up on the uh, on the uh, football stuff on Sunday, the main football on Sunday, which, you know, college football is still main football too. But what happened was I got home and I decided I wanted to sleep. So basically I slept all day. I slept all day. And I woke up at about maybe uh, midnight or so. And I said to myself, I can't call these guys and try to get these guys on right now. So I owe you guys an apology. But what we're going to do is this. Now, my schedule is going to be very, very tight here in September. Um, next week I will not be here because I will be in Dallas attending my son's wedding. So I'm going to be in Dallas and checking him out and, uh, making sure that, you know, they have a good time. I'm looking forward to it because one is a, uh, it's a, it's a short trip up and back more or less. Basically, uh, I'll sleep over, uh, Friday into Saturday and Saturday into Sunday and I'll be back on a plane on Sunday coming back home. So uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that show. I think it's the week of the 23rd or so. And then I will be back out on the road. I will be in Baltimore for... Uh, spend some time with my dad. So, I will definitely, uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really, really tight. So, that means that um, episode 186 will be done. The next one will be episode 187. And then, like I said, we then we'll be going into October. By that time, uh, by the end of the month, we'll find out who Who's going to be in the playoffs in baseball? We'll find out how some of these teams are fared in the NFL. We'll find out a little bit more about the college season and who's going, what's going on with them. But I definitely want to uh, let you guys give you guys a little bit of a heads up because, like I said, you know, um, this month just turned out to be really, really tight. And like I said, I knew that I had one obligation. I didn't know I had another obligation, so I would definitely want to have be able to take care of both obligations. So, you know, like I said, I definitely want to, uh, 
you know, let you guys in on a little secret and a little, uh, you know, preparing and stuff like that. So, like I said, you know, if you don't hear me next week, don't think that I got fired or don't think that I, I you know, can this. I basically have to, uh, I got a couple things to do. So, with that, I'm sorry, I had to take a little swig of coffee. Um, I want to uh, thank you for being here. And uh, I definitely want to uh, give you guys, you know, like I said, all the uh, ins and outs of happenings of what's going on with me and everything. Like I said, I am the guru of sports. I know all. I am the guru. Um, This is the first Sunday of the NFL season. And basically the guru has the, uh, the guru has, you know, his guru picks and, you know, I'm going to go undefeated like I usually do. You know, I'm, I, you know, every, every single year I do this, I'm, I'm undefeated. I have not lost in picking ever. So the guru knows all. And like I said, the guru is always right. So, you know what it is. All right, so we got a couple things. First off, before I take my first break, I'm going to go to the college rap. And I'm going to talk about a program that nobody thought had any chance of doing anything. But I am stunned. I am stunned, but then again, I am happy for the Colorado Buffaloes. Because... One, let's face it, Nebraska's trash. Nebraska is trash. No matter who you get in there, you can bring back uh, whoever, you know, whatever their, fa- uh, you know, famous coaches or whatever, you can bring them back. Bring back Bo Pelini, you know. Bo Pelini was, <laughs> bring him back. He don't care. But anyway, bring them back whoever. They're still going to be trash. They are basically trash. And I'm sorry I hate to say that about a program, but truth is truth, you know? I'm sitting up here now watching the uh, highlights from Oregon and Texas Tech, and that was just a terrible, terrible uh, interception. Two of them, basically. One for a pick six and one just a uh, one in the end zone to, you know, uh, just, just terrible. Texas Tech, I like them. Red Raiders, I'm going to be down there, like I said, that area. But also, I'm going to, you know, I definitely got to talk about the big one that went down yesterday. All right, so Colorado is playing good football. And um, now they have won more games than they did last year, too. This is a good turnaround. And, you know, I watched the game and a little bit of the game, you know, while in the dozing off and everything. But um, I got to admit, Colorado, you know, hey, they're unconventional. And the thing about it is that everybody is trying to figure out what kind of coaching method Dion has. He basically said, hey, you know what? Get out there, play your hardest, do what you got to do. If you get a penalty, it's okay. No problem. You know, Dion has basically turned this program around and got into the belief and got their kids on the same page as he has been on. And basically, they they look good. I, I can't say anything bad about Dion's coaching. I agree with it because, you know what, everybody thinks that a coach is supposed to be Uncon, you know, this way and this way and this way. Dion is totally opposite, and I like it. You know, like I said, if he went into your uh, kid's uh, house and you know wanted to recruit and say, "Hey, look, you know what? You want to get rich? I know how to get rich. I'll make you. I'll, I'll get you rich. You want to get to the league? Yeah, I know how to get to the league. I'll get you to the league." You know, he basically saying this stuff. And it ain't no problem because guess what? It's working. It's working. So, I mean, 
what can you say about a guy that's basically turning around a program, showing kids how to make it in life, and, you know, he does teach, you know, the other responsibilities about being a good, solid role model in the community, and being a good father, good parent, you know, and I, I don't have any any questions or any doubts about it. From what I've seen, I like it. You know, I cannot get mad at Dion for doing what he's doing. So, big props to the Colorado Buffaloes, my man Dion Sanders out there, and all the kids that's playing in this program. Congratulations, you guys are, you know, headed in the right direction. All right, so some of the college games yesterday, you know, the all the big ones won. USC beat Stanford. Oregon State, who I really, really like, they beat up on uh, Cal Davis. Yeah, I know it was Cal Davis. Florida State beat Southern Miss, and Florida State now is uh, 2-0, and they're they looking pretty good. Wisconsin lost to Wazoo. You know what? Those those two teams that's left in the Pac-12, they might have something to say. They might have uh, they might have some suitors coming for them pretty soon. Uh, the one game that I uh, <laughs> I basically well, there's two games. I, I set up and uh, I um, laughed about this one when I saw the score. Texas beat Alabama thirty-four to twenty-four. You know what, you guys, do me a favor. Save me some party time for when I get down there in Dallas. You know, sad-ass Saban is going to be crying and debating and politicking like he usually do. But you know what? Texas whooped y'all ass. Texas whooped y'all ass. And you know, I look at it this way. Some people might say Texas is back. They might be. I don't know. But, you know, like I said, this is a good benchmark. This is a good hurdle for them. And they basically uh, played the game. And, you know, I saw the highlights. Like I said, most of these games I saw the highlights. I didn't watch anything. Like I said, I basically was, you know, I didn't even watch my Ohio State boys. And, you know, they won. But, you know, like I said, Saban's going to be crying at the end of the year. Well, we're better than some of these other teams. Well, you know what? If you got one loss and everybody else is undefeated, what do you, What can you say? What can you say? Nothing. All right, so uh, Clemson beat up on Charleston Southern 66-17. to Another crying uh, son of a gun that I hate. I don't really like. Dabo Sweeney. Who cares about you? Who cares about Clemson? You know, I don't. Ole Miss, I really like them. Now, and the SEC. There's a couple teams in the SEC I really like. You know, Ole Miss is one of them. They're good, you know. Yeah, I like them. 37 to 20 over Tulane. Uh, like I said, Ohio State beat Youngstown State, which is no big deal. Uh, we had a bludgering. Uh, death over here in Delaware because uh, Penn State just beat up on Delaware 63 to seven. You know they were in uh, they was up in uh, up in uh, Happy Valley. So what? Penn State nah, 63 points won't score that many of uh, on uh, Ohio State uh, probably. Anyway, I'm, but see, I, I gotta tell you guys this: I am very down on Ohio State this year. That's right. I said it. I said it on this program last week. I'm down on Ohio State. I don't know if this Ohio State team can do what some of them, you know, what they're expected to do, and basically down on how I've seen them play against Indiana. I don't like it. I don't like it. And basically, I got a feeling that, like I said, come November, and... Ohio State has to play Michigan, and they don't win. 
I got a feeling they're going to uh, pack Ryan, Ryan Day's bag and set his ass on his way because I just don't see it. I don't see it. Like I said, you know, they won 35 to 7 yesterday, but I just don't see it. I just don't know about this team. I can't put my finger on it. And I was lucky to see that they were basically ranked about 4th or 5th, you know. So, you know, I just don't see it. One other thing I do want to mention in the college rap is that uh, Mike Hollis for Virginia scored for the first time since being shot last year, and uh, which uh, three of his teammates have passed away. And Mike Hollis is, uh, you know, like I said, he's a he's a champion. Even if he doesn't play this game ever again, I really appreciate uh, acknowledging the young man for doing what he had to do. So, God bless him. And like I said, you know, hey, um, this is a good good thing i'm i'm just glad to see uh glad to see him make it back all right so what i'm gonna do probably right now is take a break and um oh man i forgot to do something but anyway um let me talk here for a second you know i'm i'm just very excited because uh you know like i said my son's getting married and he's basically going to be doing, uh, you know, I told him, I was, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be a husband, you know, and that it's a, it's a big responsibility, you know, and, you know, we sat down, we talked about it and, you know, I told him, I said, Hey, you know, I want you to, you know, whatever you're going to do, do it differently from what I did. You know, I got to admit that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay as a uh, husband. I'm okay as a father. You know, I don't take any credit for anything. But the thing about it is that I told him, I said, hey, you know, I want you to be able to do the best thing you can do. And it makes a big difference. So I'm just glad that, uh, you know, he's going to, you know, tie the knot and, Gosh, man, you know, I'm so happy for him. I'm just really, really happy for him. And um, I'm just happy on another thing, that I'm getting a daughter. I have not I have not had a daughter in my family. Uh, technically, uh, Kate's sister was uh, technically, uh, indirectly, my uh, daughter for a little bit. But... Um, this one is going to be by marriage, but still, I'm just glad that uh, I'm going to have a daughter. All right, so we'll be back right after this. But like I said, you know, I appreciate you guys listening. This is episode 186, the first episode of the NFL picks. And like I said, this is going to be something good. I'm going to be talking about that. I got a happy birthday shout out I got to give to someone a little bit later and um i'm gonna try to get it get it in here and get it get it done so uh you guys can enjoy your first nfl uh nfl weekend so you guys take care i'll be right back this is guru talking sports episode 186 you're listening to the guru talking sports podcast Okay, guys, welcome back to the Guru Talk Sports Podcast. This is episode 186. And we, uh, <clears throat> I know that we don't talk a lot of uh, sports like tennis or uh, MMA, but um, I do want to mention a couple little things that happened over uh, overnight and um, yesterday. And like I said, I was basically out of it, really out of it like yesterday. I was tired. You know, I I love my job, and I basically, like I said, I run as much as I can. I really do. I run, I run as much as I can, and like I say, I try to be there for my uh, dispatcher whenever he needs me. I'm there, you know, which is a cool thing because, like I said, the best availability is being there and being able to be available when you are called to 
serve your duty. So that's what I basically do. Other than that, um, like I said, I have my coffee here with me. I don't. I didn't go out and um, you know check and see. You know, I'll do that probably at the next break or when we get to halftime. But um, like I said, I'm just glad that the uh, NFL is back, and uh, we'll be talking about that. I got something I got to say about uh, something about the uh, Thursday night game. Thursday night game was awesome. Uh, glad to see that you know the NFL was back and. Patrick Mahomes was back, you know, raising the banner. But Detroit had another thing, uh, another thought for them. So, uh, like I said, I'll get into that game right after I get into the couple little subjects I wanted to mention here. All right, like I said, um, overnight uh, you had MMA, Sean Strickland beat Alessandra. Now, Alessandra never been knocked down in the first round, period. But what I see that came out was this dude Strickland came out and was pounding them, just pounding them, straight pounding them from the beginning and basically didn't let up. I'm surprised that the uh, the, the fight went, um, went the full five rounds because from what I saw, this dude was just beating the hell out of him, you know, so... Big props to uh, Strickland. He beat uh, one of the most dangerous guys in the uh, M- MMA, uh, in the UFC, MMA, whatever. All right, so, and that was a middleweight fight also. That wasn't a uh, heavyweight fight. That was a middleweight fight. Okay, um, tennis, we have a winner, a new 19-year-old champion from the United States, Coco Golf. She beat up. Uh, Sabalenka, I'm pronounce. Uh, you gotta watch the guru because he doesn't pronounce names right. Sabalenka, and um, that was a good one. That was a great match. I didn't get a chance to see it. I was like lay, laying in bed all day, but anyway, um, gotta give it up for her. So the uh, men's final is today, and Djokovic. The Djokovic is gonna go out, try to get his twenty fourth. Uh, win in singles win, and um, that would well, he actually has a record for it, so he'll be trying to uh, add on to his record. And like I said, you know, there was you know hopes that there would be a uh, Wimbledon rematch between him and Alcaraz, but um, that's not going to happen. Um, he's got to play another another participant in the uh, finals here today. All right, so I want to definitely, I'm I'm trying to move along with these little things and trying to get to halftime so we can try to keep this thing moving so we can get, you know, get into the NFL picks and everything. All right, so the Orioles won their 90th game, and they're actually uh, two wins behind the Atlanta Braves, who have been uh, amazing, 90, 92 Braves have won 92 games. All this to say is that the Orioles, you know, I had questions earlier this season. Are they lucky or are they good? I might have to say I'm still in between. I can't figure it out. You know, I don't know if, you know, they are lucky in some games, but some games, they look really, really good. Like a couple games I've seen where they had, you know, very, very good defense. And, you know, with the guys in the middle, Mateo and uh, and uh, Gunnar Henderson and all those guys, they are pretty good defensively. But like I said, I just, I just, uh, you know, I'm still on the fence. You know, this has been a very good season. And um, what I'm waiting for, is the uh, playoffs, because I'm definitely going to try to get down for a couple playoff games. And, um, you know, i got to get down there for that. But the Orioles are, like I said, I'm still in in between. I'm still in between, because I definitely hope that they have enough to make it through the American League. But then again, it's going to be tough, because you still got tough teams out there. You know, Tampa Bay is still lurking around, 
And, you know, Toronto, I like Toronto. You know, that's my team. The Blue Jays, they're still still in the hunt, you know. They got one of the playoff spots right now. But, you know, they definitely got to hold on to it. Because Texas has fallen off a little bit. And here comes the Mariners and here comes the Astros. And they basically have got their stuff together. And that American League West looks tight right now. It looks tight. But I look at it this way. They the Orioles have to do have to play their game and basically, you know, do what they gotta do because this playoffs is not gonna be tough. This is gonna be a tough run. A tough run plus you know, they, they definitely gotta go through the National League and you know, whoever's in the National League that's gonna come out, you still got the Dodgers, you got the uh Braves, you got the Cubs, the you know, the uh Phillies are still hanging in there, so I'm not gonna go through the uh ML uh uh standings. I'm probably gonna do that probably next time I come through. Um, you know, like I said, probably two weeks from t- from yesterday I'm gonna come through. And uh, give you the NBA, uh, MLB, Major League Baseball standings. Because, uh, like I said, I want to get through this today. Also, I meant to tell you that um, coming up on the podcast, uh, the NFL picks are coming in. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of fantasy. And like I said, you know, Travis Kelsey didn't play. Uh, that hurt one of my fantasy teams, and I think I'm going to basically lose that. So, you know, hey, look, you know what? If I lose, it's not a big deal. You know, I don't take fantasy into very serious form, not like I was, you know, was before. But then again, it's like, you know, I tell everybody, you know, I was on the phone with ESPN a couple days ago. And um, because I, I'm a manager, I'm a uh, commissioner commissioner guru in uh one of my leagues and basically i had to tell him he asked me he said how many times have you won this league i said in the nine years that i've been the commissioner i have never won only because i like for my guys the other owners to be competitive and for them they can win you know it's not a big deal to me you know I, but one thing I will say is that I will be competitive. I will be competitive. I don't accept a losing record. I only have one in nine years in this league, in my league. One losing record in nine years is not bad. But the thing about it is that uh, I compete. I make sure that I compete. And I've tried to do everything I can to make the owners welcome and uh, enjoy what they're doing. So, I will go to this break right now. But the thing about it is that, uh, like I said, before I go to this break, you guys know that uh, my friend Mary Mack is running that that very, very helpful and very, very positive message and warning on the death by fentanyl. She's doing an outstanding job. And like I said, I've been listening to them. And some of the testimonies and some of the things will make you think. I need to think sometimes. Because if I don't put out the, put out the, uh, the word about this. It's, nothing's going to happen, and then next thing you know, or something is going to happen to someone that we care about or we love. But like I want to mention this again, this fentanyl stuff is serious. Don't play around with it. This is not a joke. You can't do experimental drugs anymore. I'm letting you guys know. You shouldn't be doing drugs anyway. But like I said, you know, I just want you to know that you can't do experimental stuff. Because you don't know what his stuff is laced with. You know. I never done drugs and I don't want to do drugs. The only thing I have to do is basically take my medicine for, you know, my my little ailments or whatever. But the thing about it is that it's serious, folks. It is very serious. 
do not, do not mess around with this fentanyl stuff. It will kill you. All right, I'm going to break. You guys take it easy. Stick with me. Like I said, on the other side of halftime, I'll come out with the NFL picks of the week, and uh, we'll talk a little bit of fantasy, and then we will wrap it up. But like I said, um, this is the last show for me for this week, and I won't be back. I'll be back on the week of the 23rd because I want to make sure that uh, I get that one in. And also, I'm not going to do any, I'm just going to do the NFL picks. I'm not going to do the standings. I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to go into the uh, divisional winners who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. I'm not going to do all that stuff. I'm going to wait until I get both Rob and Dan on here. And those are going to be my two guys that I'm going to um, talk about the pros with and get it done. Okay, so this is Guru Talking Sports Podcast, episode 186. Like I told you guys before, if you want to call me, you know, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. You can call me. I'm at 302-267-3100. That number again is 302-267-3106. And like I said, you call me, I'll answer, we'll talk, you know, we'll chat back and forth. I'll let you know what's happening with the guru. And like I said, uh, uh, Caden Guru, uh, Caden, he uh, uh, he's not feeling well. He actually caught the COVID, now he's back at home, so... We'll pray for Caden. He'll get him back to school. All right, guys. This is it. All right. We'll be right back right after this. Stick with us, Guru. We're going to halftime. Guru will be back in a few. Here's a voice actress lady right now. You're listening to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. All right, guys, welcome back to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast, episode 186. I am basically going to go and try to wrap this up in within an hour, okay? So, here's the deal. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be off next week. I'm going to be back the weekend of the 23rd, and then I'm going to be off again the weekend of the 30th. Because I got another obligation. But I want you guys to know that, like I said, hey, look, when I come back, I'm going to have my pickers. My uh, we're going to go through the divisions. We're going to go through wild cards. You know who you know who you like and everything. All right. So, like I said, um, we'll do all that next next time I get on here. Um. Now, I do want to talk, like I said, I do want to talk about the uh, NFL. And um, it was good to see Kansas City and Detroit back on the uh, on the stage. And, you know, it didn't go the way Kansas City wanted. Like I said, I might lose my, uh, my uh, fantasy matchup because I do have, uh, I did have Travis Kelsey. And I was looking forward to him, you know, making a big splash in his first game. He didn't play, and another person that didn't play was Chris Jones. But he was at the stadium watching the game. What the hell is that? You holding out, but you're sitting in the owner's box with the owner, having a good time. You know, that's crazy. That is like straight up stupid shit. (laughs) You know, because I got to look at it this way. That's just like you call out of work and didn't know or knew that uh, they were having a big-ass barbecue at work. And then you basically go back to work for the barbecue. This is is like the most idiotic thing I've thought of. And you know what? I keep thinking about barbecue. It's like I keep thinking about going to Dallas and getting some barbecue. Oh, my gosh. I keep thinking about that. All right. But anyway... Without further ado, we will get into the NFL picks of the week. And 
the voice actress lady is back, and she will be announcing the uh, the, the the first header for or the the drop for the you know for this. Anyway, uh, I want to say that you know this this season kind of took me by surprise. It really took me by surprise because, you know, I was just into baseball and, you know, like I said, with driving and working and everything, I was just having a good time myself. But like I said, now, you know, wow, it's September and, you know, a couple weeks from now to be the end of summer, literally, man, this, this is going by fast. And just think, like in two months. I'll be celebrating a birthday, and hopefully uh, on that Saturday, on November 4th, I can be in New, uh, what is that, New Brunswick, New Brunswick is uh, New Jersey, and Rutgers will be playing Ohio State, and hopefully I can get down there for that game, to be able to watch it, that'll be really, really cool, all right. Without further ado, here's the voice actress lady for the header, the uh, NFL Picks of the Week. And now it's time for Guru's NFL Picks of the Week. Thank you, voice actress lady. And the guru is back. You should see me now. I got my arms stretched out and I got a crown on my head because I am the king of NFL picks. Okay, let's get right into it. The first game is Carolina at Atlanta. Now, I took Bryce Young in a couple of my fantasy leagues, but I do like Bryce Young. But I got a feeling that this Atlanta team is going to be special. This Atlanta team features the B. John Robinson, the new running back they got. And um, with that, that made Tyler Isaiah, or the Isaiah's or whatever his name is, um, Isaiah's a little bit, of, you know, dis- indispensable. Or, you know, they can get rid of him. Or he won't be too much highly sorted. So I, I've seen B. John Robinson get picked in first round, mostly. Second, third, fourth, fifth pick, somewhere around in there, you know. I think Atlanta is going to win this game. Uh, the Guru takes Atlanta, and it's three and a half points. Matter of fact, I want to mention this, that all the picks are coming from the sports book of MGM. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to use MGM, I'm going to try to use Caesars, and I'm going to try to use DraftKings, or, yeah, DraftKings, because those are three apps I use. And um, I didn't even know I had a DraftKings account. Until uh, I try to search it, uh, my buddy Hunter tried to give me the uh, give me the code so I can uh, get hundred free bets, but I can't get it because I already got it. That's kind of weird, ain't it? All right, this messed up, but you know, lost out on hundred free bets. All right, so we're gonna go with Atlanta on that one. Uh, Houston is at Baltimore, uh, the more most improved. Uh, the most improved Houston team, I think, maybe. Uh, no, they ain't got no really good shot at. I like C.J. Stroud. I'm praying for him. And, you know, like I said, hey, Ohio State guys, I, I, I look forward to seeing. My Ohio State guys are my friends. I love them. So I'm actually going to go with uh, Baltimore because Lamar Jackson is back, and I think he's going to have a hell of a game with this uh you know, going through this defense like like Swiss cheese. And I'm going to go with my hometown Baltimore Ravens to win that game. All right. Cincinnati at Cleveland. Uh, Cincinnati is a two-and-a-half point, two-point fa- two favorite. And uh, we all know that Joe Burrow just got paid. He's the highest-paid quarterback in the league. And um, it won't stop him. I think that he'll he'll be able to. Get the job done, even though I will be wearing a uh, my um, Nick Chubb jersey because Nick Chubb is my favorite player in the NFL. And um, I definitely will be wearing that Nick Chubb jersey. 
And but still, Cleveland, I don't think they have. They're not on the same level with Cincinnati. Cincinnati is on a different level. I'm going to go with Cincinnati, and I'm going to take the point, take later two points. All right, Washington is at home versus Atlanta, or I'm sorry, Arizona. You know, you got you got to give it to the Guru. I'm I'm just waking up. I'm still groggy and tired, so I'm just going to go through these as best I can. I'm going to go with Washington. I like Sam Howell, and I'm going to go. Uh, Arizona's going to be total trash, and they're tanking for uh, Caleb Williams. So, what say you? Uh, all right, Washington, definitely. Later seven points. Tennessee is at New Orleans. New Orleans land three, and I'm going to go with New Orleans. I got a feeling that New Orleans is going to be very good. And, like I said, Derek Carr will make his debut for the Saints. And I really wish that he would have – I'm really looking forward to him having a good year. I picked him up in a couple fantasy drafts, and like I said, I really like him. I think he's going to be all right. So we're going to go with uh, New Orleans on that one. Tennessee, DeAndre Hopkins, eh, so what? All right, uh, Pittsburgh is a two-and-a-half point, fav- uh, two point underdog playing, t- with, playing against the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers look pretty good. I have... Did pick up Brock Purdy and I did pick up uh, uh, Debo Samuel in one of those drafts. So I'm definitely going to go with San Francisco to uh, lay the two and a half points. Even though I think Pittsburgh is more most improved, more improved, uh, Warren, their backup running back, might be a little bit of a factor this year. Uh, T.J. Watt is back. He's you know he's got paid. Uh, you know he's going to be playing. You know, he hopefully he'd be healthy and everything. So, you know, like I said, Mike Tomlin never had a bad team. I think Pittsburgh is going to be all right this year. All right? One of the games I'm definitely going to be watching, looking at today, uh, my Jacksonville Jaguars are going into Indianapolis to play the Colts. The Colts have Anthony Richardson, uh, you know, some, one of the top picks in the la- uh, this year's draft. But I think that Jacksonville will be more improved. I'm, I keep saying that, more improved. But they will be better because now Christian Kirk has another wide receiver to help him out. And like I said, Calvin Ridley coming off the suspension. He's fresh, should be ready to go. Trevor Lawrence, you know, ready to take this team to a next level. And I really think that the Jaguars are really there, and they might be able to, you know, do do what they're supposed to do. Only thing I look at Jacksonville is that the division is going to be tough. Tennessee is uh, in there, and like I said, you know, I'm not going to go into all that stuff. But I like Jacksonville uh, later four and a half points. I'm not going with all these favorites, but it seems like all the favorites are poised to win. Tampa Bay is at Minnesota. Minnesota's laying five. Uh, give me Minnesota because I don't like Baker Mayfield. Period. Justin Jefferson, Jefferson should have a great game. And, uh, you know, he's looking to get paid too. So, we'll, we'll see. Miami. Now, Miami is going to the Chargers. Chargers are laying three. I'm going to take the three points and I'm going to go with Miami. I like Miami this year. I think that they can do well. Tua, if he stays healthy, should be a force. So I'm going with Miami. I, I'm, I'm not going to go into the details, but like I said, I'm going to go with Miami. Vegas is going to play Denver in Denver. Denver, we know what type of season they had last year. We knew how Russ played last year. They're a little bit more, well, they're at home. So, that's only one thing I can say about it. But you know what? I'm going with the Raiders. I'm going with Vegas. Even though that they lost Darren Waller, I still think that Jimmy Garoppolo finds a way to win. He always do. He's a winner. And nobody likes this guy, but I'm kind of glad that we have him. Josh Jacobs is back. 
He'll have a good day running the football, and I'm going with Las Vegas. Philadelphia is going into New England to play the Patriots. Tom Brady day. With that said, I think the momentum from the uh, the hoodie and Tom Brady will upset the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, give me the four points, and I'm taking New England. I know I might be wrong on this one, but Guru's never wrong. Anyway, I'll prove it to you next week when when all these things happen. All right, so Green Bay is at Chicago. Aaron Rodgers is not there. Aaron Rodgers is uh, in is in New York now, and basically, I think that. And now it's time for Guru's NFL picks of the week. That's what I'm doing, voice actors lady. I appreciate that. She mentioned that again. Uh, actually, I hit the button. Hit the button bar. Wrong button. Anyway, so. Um, we got the, uh, where was I at? All right, we got Green Bay at Chicago. Chicago is a one-and-a-half point favorite. I think they can beat Green Bay. Um, Dylan and uh, the other running back they have, they should be okay. But I still think, and you know, Shark, uh, Shark is not there. Um Chicago, I was going to say Chicago. Chicago has DJ Moore, and I think DJ Moore can be a force for them. And give me, I'm laying the one and a half points, and I'm taking Chicago. All right, the Rams are at Seattle. Seattle is a four and a half point favorite. I would like to see my boy in Jigma play. You know what Seattle has? They're pretty good. Rams are not going to be that good this year. But all the internal stuff with Kelly Stafford and all that stuff, you know what, screw that. Give me Seattle. Seattle's going to win that game. I'm going with Seattle. Uh, Dallas is playing the New York Giants at the Meadowlands. And I don't know. This is going to be a very, very good matchup. Dallas has owned them, basically. Dallas has owned them for the long for the longest time. It's going to be hard for Dallas to go into their house, go into the Giants' house, and win that game. But I got a feeling that they will. Darren Darren Waller is now in a New York Giant, and like I said, I still like Dallas with the addition of. All the players that the Cowboys brought in. And, you know, they had a lot, a lot of stuff internally with, uh, you know, paying uh, their their offensive linemen and everything. I still think that Dallas can get it done. Brandon Cooks is there. C.D. Lamb is still there. So we'll see. I like Dallas in this game. All right. The last one is the uh, Monday night game. And um, we got the Jets. At home against Buffalo. Buffalo is still the division champions in that. And like I said, I really like to see how the Jets get off the snide and probably, you know, beat them. But Buffalo is still the champs, so I got to go with Buffalo in this game. It would be nice to see uh, Aaron Rodgers get his first win at the Meadowlands. And they're debuting the... uh, his debut, but it's going to be hard. So, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, those are the picks. I'm going with Atlanta, Dow, or Atlanta, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Washington, New Orleans, San Francisco, Jacksonville, Minnesota, Miami, Las Vegas, New England, Chicago, Seattle, Dallas, and Buffalo. And I know that Philadelphia fans are going to be really, really mad at me because I took New England and they're going to say, start saying I'm a hater and I'm not a hater. I'm just a realist. And I think that you guys actually are going to win that game. But I got to mess with you guys as much as possible. <laughs> All right. So we got that done. All right. So the NFL picks of the week are done. 
And like I said, the guru is always undefeated. So you ain't got to worry about that. Fantasy, like I said, I might be losing my first. Uh, in my in my other two leagues I have, there's one, the Yahoo League, that I'm playing in for the first time in a while. And um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I picked a lot of good players, but I didn't pick a defensive player. So that might hurt me. I don't know. I am just might leave a defensive spot open. I never know. Um, in this other league I'm playing in, I've been in for a little while. I won that league uh, three times, two times. I, I know I won it back-to-back one time. So I, I think I got like three wins in that. And I think I'm going to open up with a loss because, like I said, Trav- again, Travis Kelsey is not going to play. Uh, my league that I manage, I'm going to be all right. You know, I'm going to be all right. It's going to be a lot of uh, competition. And like I said, good competition is always a good thing. Like I said, I keep it competitive. I keep it, you know, keep it going, you know. Doesn't matter if I win or lose. It just, you know, matters how I play the game. That's it. So, all right. So, we got Fantasy Corner done. Power Book 4 and television is back. I haven't got a chance to see it because I'm still trying to wrap up uh, Justified, the uh, the full the first series of Justified. I actually watched the uh, you know the end of the second Justified, uh, City Prime Evil, and I already got through that. So I basically know a little bit. It's kind of cool that you kind of like know a little bit of what happens to the characters, and you know, back and forth. So I do ha- I do watch that, and um, I'm gonna probably start in this that series on in on Disney Plus. Uh, about uh, Star Wars or something like that. I'm going to try to get into that see what's happening. But like I said, I'm going to have a lot of time on that plane. Probably watch a couple episodes of Justify, try to get it done. We'll see what happens. But, um, oh yeah, before I go, I want to uh, say rest in peace to Jimmy Buffett, who passed away last weekend. We had three uh, singers, uh, musicians, or whatever, that passed away. Jimmy Buffett was the biggest one. Um, Gary Wright, if you remember him from back in the 70s, he made that song Dreamweaver. Um, really good song and all. And uh, what was that? The Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, I might be wrong. Smashing Pumpkins, uh, Steve Harwell. Uh, the guy that's saying, hey, now you're an all star. Co play, you know, stuff like that. I can't sing shit. Um, All right, so we doing all that, and the thing, final thing I want to do before I uh, sign off here, I want to give a shout out to a couple people. I know that always I'm supposed to give shout outs at the end of the month, but like I said, you know, end of the month is not going to be possible for me because I won't I won't be here at the end of the month. But anyway, uh, I want to shout out to uh, my man. Uh, what is his name? Uh, <laughs> Eric and Nova, G Splat, my man G Splat, appreciate you. Um, I want to shout out to my friend Mel, and I hope that everything in your family is well. And like I said, I'm I'm always praying for you, making sure that uh, you know everything goes well. Pray for you, and hopefully everything will turn out right for you. Um, she's my friend. She's a really good friend. And uh, like I said, you know, family's going through a few things. And I uh, want to make sure that, uh, you know, she gets my prayers. And, you know, it's the way it is. Um, also, I want to um, give a special birthday shout out to my D alien sister, Adriana. I got something special for you, Adriana. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Adriana. Happy birthday to you. 
And I only do that for uh, my friends. Adriana, I wish you the happiest birthday. And uh, like I said, hopefully, you know, you, you'll have many more, definitely. And um, shout out to you, your husband, and your, uh, your, your kids, the baby. Hopefully she's doing okay, and I really appreciate uh, being my friend and being a being a good uh, D alien, D alien lady, definitely. All right, so we're done here, and uh, I want to make sure that I get uh, get you guys to know that um, I, like I said, I will be back. In a couple weeks, and I want you guys to know that uh, I really appreciate you listening. You guys know how to find me on YouTube, Facebook, IG, uh, Threads, Snapchat. I'm on on that uh, inst or uh, Instagram, uh, Gmail, uh, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, Spreaker is the main thing that we come out of. I want to say big props and shout outs to my friend Mary Mack. Like I said, we talking about the uh, effects of fentanyl and what's going on with that. Uh, my man Hector Washington Heights, I'm going to talk to him pretty soon about his Giants. Uh, Jeff Duarte, Cali Sports News, the Young GM Podcast. They should be, be, should be back pretty soon. Matter of fact, they should be doing something. I have to check on them. My hip hop brothers and and my my man Danny Rivera appreciate you always good to hear from you my friend and my baseball insider my one of my friends I appreciate him all the time the most tendered uh guest on this podcast Mr. Dave May Jr. thank you Caden uh get well get to you know get well get back to school Ray I talked to him yesterday and I appreciate all the info we uh talking about hip hop and the Golden era and the all both of the uh, all the eras, and I guess right now we're in the uh, what the hell the I guess we're in the BS era of hip hop because I don't understand that crap. I watched a show the other night, The Shy, and uh, I couldn't understand anything that these guys were saying, raps that they were saying, whatever. All right, so um. Cousin Aaron, we always pray for him because he's our guy up in the sky in heaven, and we appreciate you know just mentioning him. We always think about you, Cousin Aaron. This has been a Black Go production of a Black Go Sports. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved. We don't hate. We congratulate. We always create, and we don't steal from nobody. Use the hashtag Big Props and Guru Talking Sports. We'll be back next. We'll be back in two weeks. Like I said, I almost forgot. Like I said, um, Friday I'll be on a plane heading to Dallas and um, maybe watching some Messi on the uh, thing there. But like I said, I really appreciate you guys, and I think I'm going to wrap this up right at right at 60 minutes. But anyway, you guys take care. Be safe. The guru will talk to you. And see you real soon. Like I said, enjoy the rest of your weekend, the rest of your sports weekend. Enjoy your first week of the NFL. And like I said, hey, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll be back in two weeks. And like I said, I will be back with my guys. And you guys take care of yourself. Be safe out there. Happy birthday, Adriana, once again. And like I said, do what you got to do. Do the right thing, always. Be safe. Talk to you soon. Later.